It's John Champion here, and this the voice of Jim Beglin. Well, thank you. I think this is a brilliant atmosphere awaiting these players today. I can't wait for this one to start. Anything of note before we get underway, Jim? Well, there's a very good chance of goals in this one. And the lineups for today. The onus on the players here to provide an entertaining spectacle, and these conditions may just help. And we're now all set. One target in the box. Lifts it into the box. Well held. Good interception. Foul. Referee with an easy decision to make. There's the chance! Poor effort, got the shot in, way off target. Well, his movement was great, but that's where it ends. minutes into the first half arrived in the box he's got one waiting in the box clear Oh, he's so good at hanging on to it. Gives it back. Back it goes. We've nearly reached the half-hour mark. Into the box. And a cool finish! to open the scoring bullseye not only did he create the space for himself well he stayed so calm in front of goal and he just guided it in Only one goal in it here then with the half-time break only five minutes away. There's a chance. 
Oh, no room for any argument there. Into touch it goes. Booted away. Returns the ball. So, half-time and the focus now switching from the players on the pitch to the managers in the dressing rooms. Well, this 1-0 lead is not really a fair reflection. They're in much more control than this. Just the one goal separates them. 1-0 it is as we await the second half. So away we go with the second half, with the thoughts of the two managers uppermost in the players' minds. Their views will have been forcefully put across, and that's putting it politely. A nice one too. Possession didn't last long. They win possession. And how about this for interplay? Knocks here! Great finish. So they lead by two, and frankly, they should win from here. You know, I thought the team did very well for him, but it still left him with quite a bit to do. And hasn't he delivered? That's fantastic. Love that. There's his brace. He really has been razor sharp. Now they're turning to the substitutes bench. Coming on the field is number 13. Substitution on the field. Coming on the field. Possession is lost there. Number nine. It's good tackling back. Cleverly chipped through over the top, into the area. It's been deflected out of play. The manager intent on introducing fresh legs. Drifts one in. It's a good block. Stout defending. Substitution on the field. Terrific support. Well, he just leant back and put that ball well clear of goal. He's missed a golden opportunity to put his team three up there. We're almost in the final quarter of an hour. They're trying to orchestrate something rugged defending and that's really got the crowd going Go 
Oh, and he'll be disappointed with that. He's been flagged offside. Well, I thought he was onside, but the decision was for the referee's assistant. Reds it through the defence. Oh, that was closer to the corner flag. Well, they've had a few chances now to increase their lead. They really should have put one of those away. Eighty-five minutes on the watch now. A chance oh that's way off you know he's managed to fire a decent shot in there better look next time the final whistle goes They've managed to win here after having played out of their skins today. An absolutely fantastic performance, which will have done their manager proud and thrilled their supporters. And with that, they make it three wins in a row. They're playing with some real swagger now. I think it was a great performance from them. Lovely football, the right attitude and a terrific spirit. And it's not a surprise to see them win it. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me, John Champion, to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish all of you a very good evening.